everyone, Casey here, and welcome to my review for The Elder Scrolls Online, or ESO for short. ESO was released almost two years ago now on April 4th, 2014, and with many updates and improvements over the time, I feel now would be a great time to give it a review. The game was developed by ZeniMax Online Studios and published by Bethesda Softworks. It's been released on the PS4, Xbox One, Windows PC, and Mac. The story of ESO centers around one of my all-time favorite Daedric baddies, Molag Ball, as he wishes to enter the world from Cold Harbor and wreak all sorts of nasty destruction and despair. You play as a hero who escapes from Molag's icy prison and makes it back to Tamriel. From there, the world is quite literally yours to explore, allowing you to adventure and uncover all nine provinces of Tamriel. I chose to play as a Dunmer, or more commonly known as a Dark Elf. I was the Templar class. My initial plan was to be a heavy hitting damage wielder dishing out constant DPS, but as I progressed further and further into the game I realized that I wasn't entirely enjoying my experience. So I decided to tinker around with healing for some reason. Especially since I found myself constantly dying, always feeling like I was just too weak. So I equipped a restoration staff and started focusing on my healing ability tree. I quickly found myself not only enjoying myself more, but actually loving it. Which came as a huge surprise to me considering I've previously hated being a healer in pretty much every MMO I've ever played. But something about the way they approached the class type in ESO made it fit my playstyle perfectly. So now I am my team's designated healer in every dungeon we go into. ESO has a crazy amount of things to do in the game. Whether you want to explore the map, adventure on epic quests to earn XP and find new gear, or just kick back and gather supplies to craft yourself a new weapon or armor, there is something for everyone. I myself am a woodworker, so I can build myself new and more powerful staves to better heal and defend myself with. I've played ESO for a crazy amount of time already since purchasing it rather recently, and after all this time, I feel like I've still barely scratched the surface on what the game has to offer. I haven't been this addicted to playing an MMO since the earlier days of World of Warcraft. When you get down to it, ESO feels almost identical to a mainstay in the Elder Scrolls franchise, almost to a fault. As I progress through the game, I often forget that I am actually online and in a massive world of other players. Not because there isn't anyone online, because trust me, the game is very populated, but rather because the quests feel very cinematic and never really requires the help of other players, unless you're like me and find yourself way out of your league fighting high level mobs when you really shouldn't be. I gonna close that, please. Throw sphere. Ugh. Okay, tank, 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 tank. Why aren't you tanking? In fact, the thing of it is, it can almost break your immersion or experience when you're making your way through a dungeon on a quest and about to get to the boss just to have another player or two pop up out of nowhere and start fighting by your side. While sometimes it's helpful to have some other players around, it's not always the case. It almost feels like someone pulled the rug right out from under your feet. You've grinded your way through the whole dungeon, slaying countless enemies before, and here comes the final boss. You get excited and prepare yourself for an epic fight. But what's this? A high level player appears from nowhere and nearly one hit kills your boss. Once I become level 17, I unlock the next tier of gear. From iron to steel. In classic Elder Scrolls fashion. And if it's true, and the max level is, uh, 100, there's a lot of gear to get. Aw, oh, another player randomly pulled up. Oh! It's a giant praying mantis! Kill it! How anticlimactic. This is a problem that I feel could easily be solved if the game just used instances. But it really doesn't. Allowing for all sorts of interferences from unwanted help and players. Only on the occasional mission do you ever get to ensure that you're going to be alone. Graphically speaking, ESO looks pretty darn good. In fact, I'd be inclined to say it's one of the best looking MMOs out there. But I personally have one issue with the game. 
And as I researched, I found out quite a few others are having a very similar issue. The game has a tendency to crash from time to time, making my graphic drivers fail and then re-enable. After testing different graphical settings on the game, I found that it's some sort of weird issue with the shadows of the game. If I have the shadows set to high, the game crashes very frequently. But the lower I set the shadows, the less often it will crash, until I turn them off completely, at which point the game no longer crashes at all. It seems that the common factor in my rig and the others that are having the same issue is that we're all using the GTX 770. ESO has an amazing soundtrack, from epic scores for battle to mood-inducing chill ambiance. But at this point, is it really surprising to find out that the soundtrack for an Elder Scrolls game is good? The Elder Scrolls Online is a great MMORPG that is offering nearly endless hours of good entertainment. It's not a perfect game, but it's far from bad. The quests do have a tendency to lean towards the repetitive side of things, and the dialogue is unfortunately often not important to the quests. Though let me say I am very happy to see, or more appropriately, hear that almost everything in the game is voice acted. While some of it is rather rough, it still is much more engaging to me than reading an onslaught of text throughout the entire game. The combat in ESO is where the game shines the brightest, allowing for heavily interactive battles where you must dodge, block, and attack freely and when it's appropriate. The combat is extremely satisfying and feels almost identical to the most recent Elder Scrolls game, Skyrim. The leveling system in ESO is expansive while still being newcomer friendly and easy to understand for the most part, giving each class three main skill trees to level up and unlock new abilities. You can also level up almost everything else about your character as well, from weapons to professions to armor. You can unlock a bunch of abilities to help swing the fight into your favor. ESO's PvP can be epic, allowing for massive battles among the three factions in the game, each side with hundreds of players. While I personally don't have a lot of interest in PvP, it's still very much an option, and from what I understand, a favorite addition to the game from many of the players. I've enjoyed my time spent with ESO so far, and I look forward to my many adventures and hours coming ahead. So, my final score for The Elder Scrolls Online is a 6 out of 10. An above average game, and in my opinion, a fresh breath of life in the ever so becoming stale genre. I'd easily give the game an additional point, bringing it up to a 7 out of 10, if the game would correct the crashing issues and maybe add more instances into the quest. Let me decide if I want other people to join me on my questing. Well, I hope you enjoyed my review for The Elder Scrolls Online. If you did, please be sure to click that thumbs up button and subscribe to stay up to date with my latest videos and reviews. Well, until next time guys.